Hello there, all you visionary people, you. This is RedSpark, and we are back for our third video in this first-person perspective adventure game tutorial. In the last video, we created our scenes with objects representing each direction. In this video, we will add in the hotspots and actions to allow the player to turn. With that in mind, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is add two more objects to our scene. These will have the hotspots for turning left and right. Let's start by creating the turn left object. Click the first button on the toolbar to add a hotspot. Create the outline of the hotspot on the left hand side of the scene by left clicking your first corner and then holding down the shift key and left click the remaining three corners. Release the shift key and click again on your first corner to complete the rectangle. The cursor will change to a green check mark when you're over the right spot. Now we need to tell Visionaire what to do when the player interacts with the hotspot. This is done using Actions. Go to the Actions tab under the Objects Properties. Click the Add button to add a new type of action. Select the Execution type Cursor Enters Object Area. This action will trigger each time the mouse cursor enters the hotspot we drew. Now, let's tell Visionaire what to do when that happens. Add an action part. In this case, we want to change the cursor to the left turn cursor. Click on Interface and choose Set Cursor from the list. Choose the left turn cursor. Next, we want to create a similar action for when the mouse leaves the object area. Add an action with the execution type Cursor Leaves Object Area. Add an action part and choose Set Cursor again. Set your cursor to the normal cursor this time. The third and final action we need to add is left click. This will require more parts and will be a little bit more complicated because this is where we tell Visionaire which image to display. Remember that our directions are numbered 1 through 4? So if we're facing west, which is 4, and want to turn left to face south, which is 3, we would simply subtract 1 from our facing value to make 4 turn into 3. The opposite would be true, of course, for turning right. So let's do that. Add in an action part. Choose Condition if value and select Set value. Click the link button and choose Scenes, Room 1, Facing and click OK. Change the operator to subtraction and set the value to 1. Now this logic works for west, south and east, but if we subtract 1 from north, we get 0, which is not one of our directions. So we need to force the wrapping of north to west by checking if our facing value has dropped below 1. Add another action part. Again, select the Conditions If Value section and choose If Value. Link in our facing value and set the operator to less than and the value to 1. The next action parts that we'll add will only be executed when that comparison is true. So add another part, select conditions if value and choose set value. Link in our facing value and set it equal to 4. This will force the facing value to face west. To let Visionaire know that we're done with that if, we need to add another part. Again, select Conditions If Value and then select End If. Since we're already here, let's play the sound of a footstep so that it feels like the player is actually moving. Add in one final part, choose Multimedia this time, and then play Sound. 
Click the triple dots button to select the sound file. Now that we've gotten this far, let's save and run the game. Looks like it's doing everything we wanted it to do. That's great. So, instead of doing all that work over again for the turn right, let's just duplicate the turn left object and modify it. Right click on turn left and choose duplicate. Rename this to turn right. Change the enters object area action to use the right cursor. And the leaves one, we can, well, leave it alone. However, in the left click action, we want to add one to the facing. So change the operator to addition. And if the facing value now is greater than west or four, we want to wrap around to north, which is one. So change the if operator to greater than and the value to 4 and change the set value inside to 1. Everything else is the same, but we do need to move the hotspot to the right hand side. You can do this by just hovering over each of the corner points in our hotspot and just drag them over to the other side. Again, let's test our game. There we go. That's working fine. So now we've implemented the turning actions. Let's allow the player to move forward to the next room and we'll cover that in the next video.